Hello everyone, this is Jack from OneSite Solutions and today I'm going to walk you through a fix to a Niagara service not running in a JSE. A known issue was identified in the standard clean distribution file included within the Niagara builds up to and including 4.8 and in some cases we have seen this in their builds too. After 1st of January 2021, if this clean distribution image was used to reset or commission a JSE or even convert an older JSE 3 or 6 to Niagara 4 then the Niagara platform daemon will fail to start. An updated clean image is included with Niagara 4.9 that rectifies this issue, but may possibly come up in the newer builds too. This is version 4.1.27.28.1 for the clean list and 4.1.27.20.1 for the conversion file. If you have to use Niagara 4.8 or below, you should copy the updated clean images into the older versions before cleaning any JSES. For those of you that are experiencing a J6000 that seems unable to boot after going through the clean disk process, then you'll need to carry out the following steps in this video. Firstly, we're going to shell into our JS with a USB micro cable using PuTTY with your correct port number. This can be found in the Device Manager tab, under Ports, and here you can see my port is port 6. You simply enter this in the serial line, in the serial connection type, with a board rate speed of 115-200. Simply click Open. Once we have shelled into PuTTY, all we have to do is log into our platform using our platform credentials. There we go. Next step would be to enter the system time setting, so option one. And then we will have to enter a date before 2021, 1st of January, which I have here below. Yeah, it will have to be in this format as well, so 10 for the minute, 10 for the day, 10 for the hour, 01 for the month, 2020 for the year. Enter and continue. And this updates our system time settings. Next, we'll have to save and reboot our JSE. Once we clicked enter, it actually already saved. So all we've got to do is tap number 11 for the reboot. Yes for that. And we will wait for that. Once that is rebooted, you should now be able to log back into your workbench, into your JSE. Um, just make sure to save any backups or anything before we do this, just in case anything goes wrong or you just want to save some work. Our next step would be going to the distribution file installer. Give that a second to load. Then we'll have to select the top option, the 4.1.27.28.1. That's the clean distribution that I mentioned at the start of the video. Click that, click install. We'll just wait for that. Now that we've finished the clean distribution process, we'll have to re-log into our platform. The credentials now will be the default, Tridium, Niagara, all lowercase. We can now change our system time settings back to normal. Twenty twenty three, oh six, twenty eight. 10 for the hour, 10 for the minute. And to continue. We can now reconnect to our JSE using the default platform credentials. Go ahead and do that. Set yourself a passphrase. Username, and finish. Once we have reconnected to the JSE and changed our credentials, we can go to the certificate management tab in the platform, click on this, and you'll be open up with this page. All we have to do is click reset. Sorry, click the certificate, click reset, 
we can generate a new piece of clip and click yes. Obviously this will take a while, but once that's done, you can redeploy your backup and you'll be good to go. Hopefully this has helped. If you have any questions or queries, please let us know and we're happy to help. Make sure to check out our other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.